I'm Eric D'Amato. I'm Matt. I got none. <laughs> and welcome back to Mindbreakers. Yay! We got something weird for you today. Weird? But that's not weird like the normal weird we have, but weird in that I haven't seen this really happen before. We have an Italian movie. Okay. Sold as a sequel. Let me guess. But it's not actually a sequel. No, it actually, for once, is a sequel. <laughs> what? I know. I refuse to believe. Like, yeah, Curse 2 has nothing to do with Curse 1. Uh, none of the zombie movies are connected at all. But... What is the movie? What's what's the sequel that's actually a sequel? Escape from the Bronx. Oh, fuck. From 1983, sequel to 1990, The Bronx Warriors, featuring the return... Well... Of Mark Gregory, I had to check his name, as Trash. Oh, great. I believe his name's fake. <laughs> Do you mean Trash or Mark Gregory? Mark Gregory. <laughs> okay. It, it's fitting for Trash to be called Trash, because he is. I think there's, like, in one of the English releases of this, mm -hmm. original title, Fuga del Bronx. Okay. Um, I think there's a, one of them has a headline that says, you can't take out the trash. Which I kind, which I do appreciate. Why? Yeah. Why is that not everywhere though? That like on every. Come on. When you dubbed it, you should have had the bad guy say when he's about to kill trash, like, "Let's time to take out the trash." Yeah, fuck. That's but, not even in the first yeah. movie, is it? No, no one says it, even though it's a perfect line. And just uh, it's like gift wrap here. <laughs> God. Oh, four out of six. Wow. A ragtag group of people must fight extermination squads among amid their ruined city. That's almost the most vague synopsis <laughs> I've ever read for a film. I just really like the words rag. <laughs> rag. What the fuck? I can't even, I can't even rag say that. Ragtag. Fuck. Ragtag. There rag you go. Tag. I almost keep saying ragtime, but I have to stop da, myself. Da, 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 da. This movie, this movie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick guess. I'm gonna assume this movie sucks because the first one wasn't even that good. Uh, I, I don't. Well, I don't know anyone re can involved in it. Like it's directed by Enzo G. Castellari, who I think did this one. Possibly the last one. <laughs> and other movies with dumb names like Light Blast. Light Blast. And Warriors of the Wasteland. Alright, at least that's like a name. The Big Racket. I hope that just has to do with noise. I hope it has to do with tennis. That, that all, yeah, that honestly... No, the, tennis one is the Heroin Busters! The what? The heroin busters. What the f what the fuck? What is this man's legacy? I'm so intrigued. Hector the Mighty. <laughs> oh my god. Kill them all and come back alone. <laughs> A few dollars for Django. <laughs> Uncredited. What the fuck? Dude? I think that's one of the earliest Italian ripoff movies because it's a combination of the original Django film and a few dollars more, but just a few dollars for Django. What the fuck? One dollar too many. What? <laughs> Holy shit, this all sounds incredible. Inglorious Bastards. The Inglorious Bastards from 78. Okay. The Humanoid, the Shark Hunter. He did do 1990 The Bronx Warriors. Okay, at least. Tuareg, the Desert Warrior. Okay. 
Sinbad of the Seven Seas. Is that the one I like? No. I was, I was going to assume no. Because, like, I love the Harryhausen Sinbad movies. Right, right. Harryhausen was a legend. Harryhausen was a legend. <laughs> anyway, I, this looks like it's just going to be Escape from New York, but clearly not as good. Even though I have a bias, considering Escape from New York is kind of my favorite movie. But... I mean, like, still. <laughs> Let's give it a fair chance. Our, you know what? You're right. Let's let's just, you know, put our expectations low and mm. just let's just watch this. All right. Entertainment. Entertainment. Let's go. Yeah. The authorities declare the Bronx a high-risk zone. There's only one alternative. Destroy it. Destroy it. Escape from the Bronx. From the Bronx. Escape from the Bronx. Hey, you remember Rats Night of Terror? Yeah, okay, so I'm not the only one, right? And, well, that's not exactly where I'm going with this, but... And I, I do describe... Uh, that was by Bruno Mattei, I think. Okay. And Bruno Mattei, I... The way I describe him is Bruno Mattei is to Dario Arge... Dario, Bruno Mattei is the Salieri to Dario Argento's Mozart. Okay. This is even lower quality than a Bruno Mattei. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's because re- I was gonna say like, when when they all first showed up, like the the extermination squad or whatever, and I saw there were humans underneath. I'm like, aren't you guys supposed to be rats? And then I realized I was thinking of an entirely different movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they looked like? The the what? the the ex- extermination squads. 
What's that? Lego spacemen. <laughs> they do look like Lego spacemen. From, but not the classic ones, the ones from the 90s. Right, right, yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> like that specific kind of silver. So if you can't tell, this movie wasn't great if we're talking no. about fucking Legos. This movie wasn't great. <laughs> this movie was... Or I said we set our expectations low. They Not low enough. still didn't even make that, so yeah. What What is it with these movies and the, the pimp character who doesn't really do much being the best thing of the film? I don't know. <laughs> also, did, did Tiger King, whatever his name was from the first movie, die? I can't uh, remember the, I think much so. of yeah, the last movie. Yeah, he dies in the chair, doesn't he? That's unfortunate. He was cool. I liked him. Yeah, he was cool. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't make it. Yeah. So, the Bronx is being destroyed by a evil corporation. We just summarized, like, the first 20 I, minutes of the film. Like, they're the extermination squads going around, knocking people's doors in with freaking war hammers and setting them on fire. <laughs> yeah, I, that's exactly what the cool, the, the most interesting thing in this almost ninety minute film is those little war hammers they have. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, they're, they're so fucking odd. I love it. Uh, we see Trash doing a thing as he's always known for doing, and then the people are like, "Hey, it's Trash! Let's get him!" But they don't get him because he's the protagonist. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they certainly do not get him. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. And I guess he's on the run and he goes and meets up with... I don't really remember his name. I just know that he looks like Sinbad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talking about the, the underground guy? Yeah, the cool guy. The, the yeah, best yeah. character. The yeah, likable yeah. one. It's like, I'm... Just, I am... What the hell is his name? Is this, no, it's not Sulla. That's where it's the Lost Ark. It's, uh... I don't remember. Because they don't say it that often in, in, in the movie. Someone's called Moon Gray. <laughs> Who? I don't know. I feel like I would almost remember that. Almost. Not, not entirely. Someone's called Strike, but I don't think it's him. I think he's the the Merc who he, he he's the he's the French Resistance kid from South Park. That's that's Strike. Um, <laughs> there's an Iron Man leader. Okay. Okay. There's the more a doubt. We find out about this movie, the weirder it gets. There's some. There's characters called Dalbone and Toblerone, but I don't remember them at all. They're probably one of the guys that got shot. Like, apparently this one guy plays two people called Dal- Dablone and Toblerone. Yeah, I, just, I got nothing. I don't remember these guys. A lot of characters in this movie are so fucking unforgettable. Yeah, I can't find this guy's name. Let's just call him Sinbad. Yeah, we'll call him Sinbad, sure. Like, everyone else in the movie's racist as hell towards him. Oh my fucking god. Like... <laughs> Yeah, the amount of uh, chosen words to be said during this movie is... Uh... Mm, it's uncomfortable. Oh, it was definitely made in the early 90s, that's for sure. 83. That's even worse. <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> he goes down, he, go, he goes down. I think he's bringing food with him. I don't know why he's going down. But uh, Sinbad's like, hey, you should come down. Stay with us here. It is safe from the extermination squads. Like, no. I gotta fight the good fight and do the stuff that I... What's my motivation? I don't even know. But I have my motivation, so I gotta follow it. Yeah, I just gotta <laughs> be able to shoot people every 30 minutes on screen. Also, this I need is a reason for that. This is a dubbed Italian schlock movie. Yeah. Meaning... That everyone sounds like this. <laughs> All the time. Just everyone sounds like this. Yes, Colonel. I sure hope this isn't Chris's blood. <laughs> I was also going with like the bad guy from uh, House of Dead. This is the final battle. Like everyone sounds like this kind of shit. I love Why'd it. you want to become immortal? To live forever. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh fuck that actually hurt my side good lord to to quote benjamin king in saints row 4 that's not a plan that's a goal <laughs> So he talks, um, we, we cut to a family. Is like, ah, I don't want to leave here. I've lived here for 47 number years. I'm good. They're not going to force me out. Who wants to go live in New Mexico? And the wife is like, I don't know. I, they, they're kind of serious about killing us. I was confused because there's like this big production still photo <laughs> of trash from 1990, the Bronx Warriors, yep. on the wall. And but, and I mean we find out that it's his parents later. Yes, but that doesn't in this explain scene, the production. We don't know who they are. <laughs> it still doesn't explain why it's a production still poster. I had, yeah, that I don't know either. But at least there's a reason they have something trash related. I thought it was just a random art piece that they needed to put up. <laughs> Though I think I know where they got a big poster of like that of trash. <laughs> where the fucking like... unsold merchandise. <laughs> Oof. Which I'm assuming is all 1990 The Bronx Warriors merchandise unsold. It's probably wonder, it's probably in like it was merchandise. Hmm. Uh, uh, they probably made it, thinking people would like be really into it, but then no True. one was. So, <laughs> like, it's probably under a parking lot somewhere with all the ET for the Atari 2600 cartridges. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, can we shove our shit in there too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. There's room. <laughs> Oh, um, the the, I mean, the extermination squad just rolls up and they rolls up, bash the door down with a mall. Uh, now this bit, this bit is silly. <laughs> yeah, one of them comes like the the dad's like they're not gonna take my run me out of my home. He picks up a baseball bat, an aluminum baseball bat, but the the extermination squad guy has like a motorcycle helmet on. Yeah, and he cracks the. Trash's dad cracks him in the face with the butt with the baseball bat hard enough that it breaks the motorcycle helmet <laughs> and kills the squad guy. Now, I don't know if you know this, but motorcycle helmets are designed to be used by people who are riding motorcycles. Yes. And to be able to withstand the force from crashing a motorcycle. So just like whenever you play a video game and you manage to hit someone and a crowbar is a weapon and you hit someone with the crowbar and it breaks, a human body cannot generate enough force through muscle mass to break this helmet. <laughs> so, I mean, at least he got at least he got one in, you know. He got one. He he got a he got a XP point, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And then he just gets fucking torched. Yeah. Like just set on fire. Yeah, I don't really know what his plan was. There was no other way this could have gone. Yeah, and it's not like they didn't know they had flamethrowers because, like, I think even the wife says like they've been torching down people. I I, I don't but... think someone can have a flamethrower and you not. I don't think you can have a secret flamethrower unless you're like Django Fett. That's it, right? Or the, like, the, fucking... or, uh, Jinjar and the Mandalorian. <clears throat> yeah, they're basically doing this, because I think in the scene, I think it's a scene after, we find out big government corporation is trying to exterminate the Bronx. Yeah. So they could build a children's <sighs> hospital or some shit. Uh, they want to build something. So, yeah. uh, but <laughs> everyone's like, oh, the Bronx is a plague. Oh, we need to build, uh, get rid of it. We need to do this. They're, they're a public blight. They're a blight on society. And like, wait. So there's no actual blowback from the fact that the pres- the daughter of the president's leader, of the corporation's president, has is dead? That doesn't ha- hamper your plans at all? No. So what was the point of the last movie? <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, we, we also briefly meet in the underground gang gang place uh the shocks are back ah yes the shocks who you may remember if you've seen the last mo- the the first movie uh why we warned you <laughs> but <laughs> they're they're the they're the weird gang of um tap dancers with kiss makeup who wear metal hats 
And she reminds Trash of their deal and then does nothing th- for the rest of the movie. She may as well <laughs> not even be here. <laughs> so movie's whack. Uh, a, a reporter, uh, when they're doing this thing, a reporter's like, hey, um, you're being, you're doing evil shit in the Bronx, though. Oh, no, we're, we, we told them we, we're paying for their for, for new lodging for them. We're being, everything's perfectly above board. It's all legal. We're all, it's all good. Everything's fine. We're fine here. We're all fine here. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> that I think that is word for word what happens in that entire meeting room. <laughs> She's like, no, but, but, but you, you, do, do you, do these people know who you got operating things in there? Do, do, do they know you have Wrangler? Like, oh, oh, Wrangler, 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 I can't believe it. It's like, Wrangler's doing a genocide in the Bronx. So she and uh, Jay the photographer, actual uh, man, yes. go into the Bronx. <laughs> all to capture, like, what's actually going on with the extermination squad and all that, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Pro- hope so. I hope so, because they take a lot of photos of the extermination squad and them, uh, just killing people left and right. Yeah, Jay gets killed. Ugh. Yeah, Jay gets just gets set on fire in possibly one of the funniest shots in the whole movie. <laughs> yes. It's all slow-mo and shit. I love it. Dun, 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 dun. This is a, I have a, I have a name for this movie. People yeah, flying man. backwards in slow motion. I was going to say. That's that half the film. The acrobatics in this film is un unworldly. There's so many people doing flips and shit. Da, 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 <laughs> da, so fucking da, good. Da, da, da. I mean, it, it's a good thing that song's catchy because that's like you're gonna what hear you, it a lot. Yes, you're gonna hear that song quite a bit in the film. Da, 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 da. I will say though, like the soundtrack. It's like that Ghostbusters game on the NES that never shuts up with the <laughs> just the whole time. <laughs> I will say though, the soundtrack's actually not that bad. Yeah, they're one like, song. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It doesn't get boring at least, except for maybe towards the end of the film. Yeah. The um so Trash finds out his parents are dead and then kills a bunch of people. As you do. As you as you do. Fair enough on that. Yeah, like, at least they gave Trash, like, reasoning to just really want to be fucking mad at the extermination squad now, I guess. Uh, I guess them being evil isn't enough. Not for Trash. <laughs> so yeah, then this whole fight oh, breaks Trash up. has actually learned, he hasn't only learned how to wear a shirt. A really cool shirt with, like, a skull and a snake. Looks like an, uh, yeah, like yeah. an off-brand heavy metal shirt. Yeah. But he's also learned the the magical skill of using guns. Like his <laughs> yes. his little spike flail is gone. He no, Thank he's mo- he's upgraded to firearms. He he saw enough people get shot that he's like, "Hey, maybe guns are a pretty good idea at this point. I want to do that too." <laughs> I want to go bang. And trash does go bang a lot. Quite a bit. <laughs> Quite a bit. So, um, he d- somehow the reporter gets to the underground crime base and keeps calling Sinbad the Thief of Baghdad. Which is I, how I, like, yeah. I figured out he was supposed to be Middle Eastern. Because I just thought he was doing a really bad Mexican accent. <laughs> so wait, he's, wait, he's supposed to be, like, Middle Eastern? I think so. Sure. Fuck it. Like he has a fluffy shirt, a leather a leather uh, doublet. He has a uh, oh, okay, leather yeah. bracelets. Really cool boots. His boots are cool. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. I see it now. All right. Sure. And they come up with a plan to kidnap the president. Yeah, because essentially, <laughs> extermination squad is gonna eventually make their way down there. And he's like, so fuck it, we'll fight them, who cares? They're not going to be able to take on all of us. And she's like, that's yeah. stupid. What you should do instead is kidnap the president for a ransom. And I'm like, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> just, I'm just thinking Snake Plissken, get a new president. 
<laughs> the, so the, hey, so you're not going to be able to do this on your own. You got to go find Strike. Fucking Strike. My reaction to Strike was you. You remember the South Park episode with the skiing? The 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 you're gonna have bad time. Yeah, one? yeah. My re- was like his name is Strike. Just, just the when they meet Thumper, just his name is Thumper. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his his I'm Strike. That that that's not a name. <laughs> It's like it's like a code name or something. What's your real name? That is my real name. Huh. It's like, hi, I'm Peter Parker. I'm Doctor Strange. Oh, we're doing fa- made up names. I'm Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fucking love that like that that line exchange. It's so good. Uh You're from Earth? Is is Footloose still the best movie ever made? It never was. Civil War Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, but yeah, uh, they go to find Strike, which, I mean, they made it sound like it was going to be this whole ass quest. It took like two minutes Yeah, the movie to get there. Uh, the reporter's flirting with him. Oh, she does a little bit more than that. He has an annoying kid. Yeah, a kid who, uh, once again, has some very choice words to call trash. But, he, he says boom a lot and says trip mines, but... You du- this movie's clearly dubbed. It's obvious that it was dubbed. Yeah, yeah. Can't you dub in a decent actor? No. Like, it doesn't... Like, I, I get it has to be a kid for live action. Sure. That's fine. Whatever. But now that it's essentially voice acting, just get a Nancy Cartwright. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, it's, that's very true. That's very true. I mean, he doesn't take away from the film as much as the performance of the actors who played Newt in Aliens takes away from that movie for me. Sure. Like, I do not like that movie because of Newt's performance. Which, I'm, which yeah, I know I'm missing out on, like, one of the best sci-fi films of all time, blah, 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 whatever. It's not quite like that, because I don't really think it's possible to ruin this movie, because there's nothing really here to ruin. Well, then the kid doesn't really say that He just says, throughout the whole film. boom. And yeah, just goes, boom. And goes, yeah, I really don't. I really don't like him. Yeah, he's it's a little like, shit. And Trash is like, wait, we're taking the kid on the mission? Strike's like, of course, I never could do a mission without him. Which is the point you should probably find someone else. <laughs> If they, wait, if, if you're ter- if your master bomb man who you're taking on the suicide mission insists on bringing this eight year old, he's insane. Find someone else. <laughs> it's also a point where like the reporter is like, "Ah, uh, oh, so who's the kid?" He's like, "He's mine. I think it's my kid." I'm like, what, what to do? what's so hard to understand about that? And I'm like, "Well, you know, the kid's just about as insane as his father. You can't really." not put those two together at this point but it's weird uh, this is, i think this is the first time i've seen in a movie like this <laughs> like I've, I've seen the the crazy badass renegade guy have a kid before but usually it's i don't know some like orphan kid he adopted out of sure. necessity this is the first time i've seen it actually be legit his kid yeah, and they movie. don't really go into too much of it either because they realize like no it's just his kid like, we'll leave it at that and i'm like hey cool you don't need a we don't need a silly backstory anymore. Great. And they also, we they kill also people probably realized no one cared. Yeah. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, then they, um, well, they, they, they sure do kidnap the president. But Wrangler's like, I don't care. Kill them all. And he shoots the president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Wrangler's kind of an asshole. They don't have the president for long. Oh, also, Lois Lane gets shot. Yeah, <laughs> Lois Lane gets shot. Uh, I think I'm supposed to feel something, but I forgot that it happened, so... Yeah, I, I watched this movie a while ago because I wanted to get it over with because I knew it wasn't going to be good. Yeah, I watched it... Uh... Well, like, whenever when we were talking about it, that's when I, that's when I watched it, and... Fuck me, I woke up and I just couldn't remember half of it. It's like skim through it again. It's not quite, but this is almost one of those movies where I'd have to take long breaks and just sit in a chair looking like Jack Nicholson from The Shining. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. 
Oh, so what? So they Man, kill... they, just, they just fight for the last thirty minutes. Yeah, and they like they, the whole... they kill Wrangler. I think Baghdad priest, ba- Mister Baghdad, gets killed. The Iron Sheik he, is dead. He, yeah, Mister Sinbad dies. Why is he uh, not the Iron Sheik? I don't know. That would have made this movie so much better. I don't, I don't I don't know, but his his girlfriend also dies, and smart man. While he's sad about it, he realizes he can't like be sad about it at that moment because no, then he's... he just starts shooting people again. And I'm like, ah, oh, good sir, good. You understand the priorities. And it's kind of like when Jay got shot. <laughs> I mean, got set aflame. Like he just dipped. Who? Uh, the the reporter, like when Jay gets set aflame, she had normally... a name. <laughs> Who's Jay? Oh, Jay the camera. No, Jay Jay's the, the photographer. I forgot. He's the photographer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like when he gets set aflame, I thought the Lois Lane looking girl over there, yeah. was gonna do like this whole scene where she was gonna be sad. No, she just fucking dips at that point. Yeah, like, it's fucking great. I yeah, it was it. it was good. Yeah, then then like you said, she gets shot. Yeah, uh, the extermination squad makes it underground. They set gas. Uh, then they fight for 30 minutes. Yeah. And that's like the whole ending of the movie. Movie's over. Yeah, there's acrobatic flips happening every dun, five seconds. Dun, dun, that dun, song is drowning in the background. Dun, dun. And it's like, you know what? We didn't really accomplish anything. We left so many loose threads. But hey, this is a sequel. We're going to get another sequel. There's a third one sold in box sets called uh, War- Bar- The New Barbarians, Warriors of the Wasteland. Oh. Oh, it has nothing to do with the series. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a Mad Max clone. Fucking rip to the to the third movie ever happening. Like, why would you? This. Th- yeah. At least the first one kind of had a plot. Yeah, I mean, the first one, like, at least had like gangs and shit. And like, granted, they were factions. stupid. Yeah, they're all dumb. There, there was a, fi- a gang of field hockey ninjas on roller skates. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but this a field hockey ro- field hockey ninjas on roller skates called the zombies. <laughs> Whatever. That movie was whack. I missed that movie. This is fuck it. No, the first movie's better. I know I said I couldn't figure out which one's better, but saying that out loud, the first movie's better. This is crack. This is crack. Yeah, you're growing more uh, for a Wilford Brimley. He's dumb. Uh, but it does have a sequel, sort of, which we'll be looking at eventually. Oh, boy. You know what this felt like? What was that? A DLC mission for the first movie. Yeah, this is like the expansion pack, you know? But not like... This is interesting because I do prefer one of these expansions to the other, but in terms of content, if 1990 The Bronx Warriors is obli- is the game Elder Scrolls Oblivion, which is not, Oblivion is actually good, <laughs> this is Knights of the Nine Revelation. No, this yeah. Knights of the Nine Revelation is a fan-made mod, which is amazing, download it if you have Oblivion. This is Knights of the Nine. That's a lot of cool stuff. I it's my It's the armor and weapons I use are the the crusader stuff okay but it's much more there's much less than in say shivering isles sure yeah yeah Yeah, this but this wasn't a worth this was movie was too long yeah and it's only like an hour and 28 minutes by the way like you heard the expression um 10 pounds of shit in an eight pound bag (laughs) this was three pounds of shit in a ten pound bag. <laughs> yeah, it's it just I'm feeling funny. stretched like butter that's been spread over too much bread. Yeah, it's there's there's just nothing that happens in this movie and then there's just action and that's it. I mean the villain's not even that great. Mr. Uh, Floyd Wrangler, played by Henry Silva, looked kinda like Chekhov from Star Trek. And also, by that logic, Arnold uh Arnold Bester from uh my well, probably my favorite uh, favorite TV show, Babylon Five. Wait, what? I didn't know you one of your favorite TV shows. If not your favorite TV show is Babylon Five, yeah. Huh. 
That's something to know about you. Wait, wait, like wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Uh-oh. Henry Silva. Yeah? Uh, Floyd Wrangler. Uh-huh. In the new adventures of Batman and Robin and the Batman animated series, essentially in the Timverse for, for DC, he is the voice of Bane. What? A, like, he's animated Bane. What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> yeah. What is this knowledge that we're learning right now? I just looked him up on IMDb out of curiosity, and he's Bane. That's, that's so fucked. That's so fucked. You know what's this? It's like, um, remember way, 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 way back we did Sword and the Sorcerer? <laughs> way, way back. That was like fucking episode two. Uh, the voice actor who played Zusha. Well, no, the actor who played Zusha is Two Face. Mm. What? What is it with actors in terrible movies somehow being in the best cartoon show ever made? That's. What? <laughs> How does this keep happening? <laughs> That's fucking incredible, dude. <laughs> That's so good. What the fuck? Like, we're gonna watch one, and it's like, oh, this is bad. Who's this person? Oh, they played Rachel Ghoul. Like, no, okay, I, <laughs> I don't think so. I, I can recognize David Warner. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's gonna happen again. <clears throat> well, I... it's it's funny because. <laughs> I watched the the making of for Batman the Animated Series. Oh, we're done talking about Escape from the Bronx. Nothing oh, yeah, else fucking happened. shit movie. Don't watch it. Was talking about, um, I was watching some of the, like, one of the, the DVD special features talking about how they chose the actors. And, like, oh, we, we didn't want to go for voice actors. We wanted to know for, go for, like, established film actors that you wouldn't normally see in, in animated stuff. And it was like, okay. But we want actors who are in good movies. Like, but... The Henry Silva, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call them out on their bullshit, like in twenty twenty one or whatever. Well, I'm gonna call them out on their bullshit for their insistence of having Barbara Gordon and Bruce be in a relationship in every adaptation they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's enough um, of this. I'm not sure I can call it a movie of this series of moving images. It's got a scene where Trash just jumps through a window. Yeah. For no real reason, he just does it, and I fucking love it. Just watch Escape... Like, the first one was just The Warriors, but not as good. This is just Escape from New York, but not as good. Yeah, so watch those two movies instead. Yeah. <laughs> Please, for the love of God. Anyway, next, we have another sequel. Oh, fuck. But a better sequel. <laughs> oh, thank God. Um... Let's just say that the Saw is family. Ah. See you next time. Uh, take it easy, everyone.